Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So, hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. And I've been getting a lot of questions about is Cert still worth it after I made that video. Um, you know, I've seen some gameplay of him. Is he still good? Uh, absolutely. Is he still, you know, actually able to take out max bases? Definitely. He walked through mine a couple of days ago. So, Cert is definitely still a massive superpower in this game. Um, however, I've uh, been getting a lot of questions about how to ruin this guy, because apparently a lot of people, especially with the red envelopes, are getting him, and I was like, you know what, let's do it, and uh, yeah, talk about it. So, cert, I currently, oops, wrong, bu wrong button, um, I don't personally have him yet, I will probably get him by the end of the season, let's check the uh, breeding castle, where is he at, my boy, cert, okay, so really, his runing, like the his runes are pretty straightforward, um, because this dragon is very very simple to fly. It does not take a lot of skill. It doesn't take a lot of planning. Basically, all you gotta do is use incinerate, kill the red mage. If there's two red mages on an island, you're basically screwed. Um, but kill the red mage if there's only one. Use Ragnarok, heal back up to full health immediately, regardless of how ever much health you have left. Um, and you just keep doing that over and over and over and over again. He is a very overpowered, like, as as a concept of a dragon, like, skill-wise or spell-wise, this guy is ridiculously overpowered. Really, ruining this guy is pretty simple. Um, I would definitely suggest putting the legendary glyph on him as well. Sorry, not legendary glyph. Legendary uh, rune from his line as well as the mythic glyph from his line um so that will take up one rune slot one glyph slot personally i don't think the epic rune is going to be as beneficial or give you as much like uh payback i guess uh so to speak as is a separate rune that might be a legendary or a mythic because if you got this guy and you're in lower tiers or even higher tiers this is going to be a dragon that will stay with you for a very long time. So, investing some decent runes on him might not necessarily be a bad idea. Um, so, besides his... Sorry, by the way, guys, if I sound congested. I'm a little bit sick right now. Um, so, besides his legendary rune and his mythic glyph, really the only one that I would suggest doesn't really need a whole lot of rage because this burning hatred is literally completely insane. Three rage for zero rage. I mean, come on. Um... So not Rage, Hunter Attack, he's not really a dragon that needs a whole lot of attack. That Ragnarok does it for him. So really, what you want is HP. Because HP affects the damage of Incinerate. But at the same time, really the thing that limits this guy is his ability to survive. If you can tank a couple of shots if there's an Ice Flak. Okay? For example, on my base, this is what people will do. As right before they're turning the corner, they use Ragnarok, right? They equip it on, like, they, they hit the button. They don't use it yet. They just hit it. So their dragon has it. Um, they turn my corner. They use Incinerate. It kills my Red Mage. And then they just tank. Because even though I have an Ice Flak, the Ice Flak does not remove a pre-selected spell. So the Ragnarok is still on the dragon technically. In, and they can fire it as soon as the Ice Flak um, super shot goes away. So basically, all you have to do to beat my base and the majority of other bases in this game is literally just tank for like three seconds. If you can tank for three freaking seconds, you beat basically beat the entire base. Second that those three seconds are up, you use Ragnarok, you use burning um burning hatred, you go back all the way to full health, you kill off the entire island, and then with the extra rage, you use incinerate on the perch. And, I mean, it's CG well played, boys. I mean, literally. Like, there's no there's no skill to this guy. Um, it's just, you know, all right, great. Um, this dragon should have never been in the game, period. Uh, uh, I'm not saying that they should nerf him again because, you know, people spit on him. If you're going to release a dragon like this, you don't want to nerf it, especially one that people spent a ton of money to get. But how in the world was this not prevented in the first place from coming out? Like, what? Like, this is a crazy dragon. Um... And I know a lot of people are having a lot of fun with him, but don't get me wrong, I love overpowered dragons as much as the next person. Um, of course, I'm going to get this guy, so I'll be able to use this overpowered dragon. Um, at, but at the same time, it just kind of ruins the balance, you know? 
Um, but I don't, I don't know. Anyway, guys, I uh, just want to do a quick video on how to ruin him. And, uh, you know, I guess the strategy is a tiny bit. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Helped you guys out. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other dragons that you would like to see how to ruin. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.